Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I will be showing you guys my brand new, brand new car. I have a 2022 Ford Bronco Sport Outer Banks SUV. And today I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on the outside and the inside. And then if you have any questions for me, feel free to put them in the comments below. Uh, full disclaimer, I always wanted a car, you guys, if you've been following me for a while, I've had two cars that I've absolutely loved. Um, one that I really, really loved that was totaled in a hit and run, um, and it was my favorite. It was my Kia Optima, and I got, as a result, a 2019 Jeep Renegade about two years ago. I was always a Jeep girl. I always wanted to own a Jeep. I wanted the Wrangler, but the Wrangler was just out of my price range at the time, and it wasn't something that I could have at the moment so i settled for the renegade which i still absolutely loved it wasn't my dream car but it was a, the perfect car for me so after doing a little more research i was like you know what i'm gonna get the car of my dreams and it turns out that it wasn't actually a wrangler i did some research and i was like hmm the bronco looks pretty nice my sister actually brought it to my attention because her sister-in-law's friend owned one and she's like kelsey i know you want a wrangler but you're gonna love the Bronco. So just try it out and let me know. So I was like, okay, I'm not too familiar with Ford Broncos, but after looking at it, test driving it, and doing my research, this is absolutely the car for me. And plus my sister owned a Wrangler and she just was not comfortable with me owning one because she was like, it's, it's a lot of uh, safety issues that she didn't agree with um, from owning it. So she wasn't really for it. So of course, me being the baby sister, I had to get something that my sisters would approve of because I'm the baby, I have to. I have to get my sister's approval on my car. So they were very interested in the Bronco as well. And then when I showed it to them, they said that they liked it. So without further ado, I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna show you guys what my Bronco looks like. So come with me. So this is the Ford Bronco. Pretty nice, huh? I was originally looking at the Big Ben, and then when Drew and I went to the dealership, they had the Outer Banks, so this is it. Let's look at the trunk. So you have Bronco Sport on the back. It has a glass opener as well as a door. If you just wanted to open the top hood of your car, top hood, if you wanted to open the top trunk of your car, you would just push this glass button and then lift it up from the glass and grab whatever you need down here as well. Um, this works really good if you have a like shelf of some sort right here, which I am currently looking for because I want slash need one. So I don't really need one. I want one. Um, really cool feature to have so I therefore want one so you do it that way as well this is the key fob uh, I'm gonna buy a cover for this I actually just bought one it's coming in tomorrow so you have the unlock lock start engine trunk opener and the alarm so we're gonna open up the trunk not automatic but Here's our trunk space. Oh, and interior, peanut butter seats. Another thing that I was looking at, I really wanted leather seats. My Wrangler, my Wrangler, my Renegade was uh, upholstered, upholstery, upholstery. So I really wanted leather seats this time. It's just easier to clean and to keep clean. My only concern with the leather seats is wear and tear. So hopefully that's not an issue, but this is my trunk space. And the big bin had a shelf along here. This car does not because I test drove the big bin, but I saw this at a dealership and I was like, never mind, I want this. <laughs> um, you have your light switch here. So even when you're out here by yourself or even when you're out here at night, you can turn on the light switch and it will turn on the trunk lights for you. You don't have to worry about opening your whole car. Nice little coverage with the trunk. And these little mats right here, these are 
installable so these came with the car so you can just pop these in and not have to worry about this part getting dirty in the back which was another concern with my renegade was that I didn't like how much dog hair was on the back I just want to put these on here so you guys can see what it looks like for reference moving along to the back interior you still have that peanut butter trim going on and so this is what the seats look like on the inside you have this nice peanut butter color drew had me dying laughing when he said all of this chocolate was going to be in peanut butter <laughs> car i thought that was hilarious um here are your cup holders over here you have this nice feature you have zip up storage in here so you have a nice little space in there where you can put your little items nice little grip in there you also have these pockets in here where you can uh stick phones if i have passengers they can stick their uh phones in there these are my carpet mats which i'm not going to put in at any time soon just because i like having the all weather mats and it's supposed to rain this weekend so you have these this is what it looks like here so i literally got this car out of fresh out of the factory <laughs> it arrived at the dealership the day before yesterday and we were driving around and we saw it uh the Ford dealership and the guy was like we may have three in so this is one of the three and I absolutely fell in love with this one so down here you have your USB port as well as your C port for charging you also have the uh, plug charger which not a lot of cars have that so what insane so that's that and then let me show you guys what the front looks like so in the front you have this nice, again, peanut butter leather trimming in the door. Have your buttons for mirror and windows, lock and unlock. We have on the inside our lights, which was another feature that I was really disappointed about with my Jeep that I didn't have was the nice uh, light features that uh, my Renegade did not possess. It was like the basics of the basics, but here is your interior. And it's pretty spacious, I believe. And you also have down here, so we have, I'll clean it on in a second, but you have dual climate here. We have rear window heater, defrost so seat warmers fan buttons wheel warmer seat warmer over here your climate functions here dual climate like I said nice little grip in here for storage I read that you can buy a like storage thing here if you want because there's really there's nothing back there it's just the you know the screen so if you want to buy that extra storage, you can. So down here underneath the dashboard, you have the volume control. You also have the buttons to control sound, your emergency lights, and the automatic um, off button tuning button. These things are really cool because you can adjust the air wherever you need it to go. It doesn't go up and down, but it goes from side to side. And oh, yep, it goes up and down right here. So if you use this, it goes up and down. And you can adjust the airflow. So if it's too much for you, you can twist these little things and you know make it work how you need it to work so really really like that really like the interior and how it looks overall so if you like it give me a thumbs up down here you have your wireless charger your C port charger and your USB charger again the normal you know I forget what this is called but you know your normal charging piece right here and then more grip for storage. We have cup holders, which look like they conform to whatever cup you own. So that is great. We have knobs to navigate instead of a gear shift. So 
cool feature. You have the parking brake. We also have, sorry, my finger's in the way. We also have this um, kind of like hands-free brake going on. So when you're driving, particularly if you're sitting at like a train track and the train is going by and you don't want your foot on the brake, you can turn this on and take your foot off the brake and it holds your car in place. And then when you're ready to drive, you'll just tap the gas and it will automatically turn this off. Other features in the car to note, you have down here this uh, mode button, goat mode. This is go over all terrain. So you can turn these and it will adjust your mode to where you are and what you need the car to do at the time. So there's one for eco, there's normal, there's sport, there's slippery, all kinds of features on here for whatever environment you're in. This is not a rock climbing car, let me be clear, um, but it is made for like if you're near in the sand, like there's a sand mode on here too if you're at the beach. So it adjusts to whatever your environment is as long as you switch to the proper mode that reflects that environment. So on the inside of this, nice peanut butter armrest console, open this, pretty good storage in here. You have a Seaport charger again and a USB charger again. I've read that you can buy a organizing tray, which is probably what I'm going to buy in the future to just have like other people's phones and things like that. Just more storage, more organization, probably buy something like that to go in here otherwise you don't really need it the big van that I was looking at this was actually a lockbox storage which I didn't really feel the need for so I'm super happy that this car did not have that in there because if you didn't lock it it would flap up and down while you're driving which I found annoying so none of that going on here so over here on the wheel we have your volume control cruise control settings over here uh, sound settings so voice command calls um, hang up pick up skip menu buttons and then you know controlling the menu over here as well and then one thing that I didn't mention before is the sound system so if you're looking in here we have the um, B&O I think is what it's called sound system it's supposed to be super popu popular I don't really know what that means, but the man at the dealership said that it was like top of the line sound system and Drew was able to set it up to surround sound somehow. So we like to do drive-in movies. So when we go to a drive-in, we can have surround sound in the car. Speaking of car, let's crank it up and see what goes on with there. Oh yeah. Um, windshield wipers, of course. I accidentally hit this the other day. So just know that this is for the back and this is for the front otherwise if you hit this you're not going to remember how to turn it off because you literally wouldn't be able to see that unless you're looking for it let's turn it on look at it look at that look at that and it tells you that the trunk is open which is the trunk or the glass it'll let you know that it's open so let's see here you have all of your things as you can see this car is brand new it came with seven miles on it so i think that's pretty good for a brand new car because your girl put some miles on it <laughs> so down here you have your gas your gear shift your mileage your miles to empty and you can set this up however you want like i haven't gotten into customizing it because I literally only got it yesterday but you can customize this to make it look how you want it to look and it's the same thing that I did for my Jeep so I will do that for this car. Over here you have a full 8 inch screen, um, your presets, you have your audio, phone, apps, um, what's on phone so all the things related to your phone apps this only works from my experience if you are attached to carplay so i'm going to grab a charger so that you guys can see what it looks like that way and then ford pass is the app that you can download it's free it connects your phone to the car and so many cool features that i'll show you guys with it as well and then over here you have settings again haven't gone to the customization of how i want my car to look yet so this is exactly how it looks 
when you first get it because I haven't gone in and fixed it. Valet mode means that if you give your car to valet, they can't access certain features on your screen without having an access code so your car is secure. Another thing is navigation, obviously. Um, I think this only works for car uh, CarPlay, so I don't have that figured out yet, but Wi-Fi. Car comes with its own Wi-Fi. It is a subscription service, but you can set up your own Wi-Fi and you can also connect to other people's Wi-Fi if you are in this car, so pretty good. Let me grab a USB cord and I'll show you guys what the Apple CarPlay looks like. Okay, I just set you guys there for a second so that you can see what it looks like when I plug my phone into the car. So as soon as my phone plugs into the car, you'll see that it is connected to Apple CarPlay. So on here, you are able to see like your Navi, how to get from home, how to get from work, music that I've been listening to that I haven't really been listening to. So don't know where they get that from, but apps are down here. So these are all of my apps. I'm not going to show you what all my apps are because I don't even know what's on here, but it shows you what your apps are through Apple CarPlay. So if I ever want to use like Ford Sync, everything is already attached and I can set my preferences however I want. It's just a good way to have all things connected. I believe in our state they're going to pass a law where you can't use your mobile phone at all while you're driving. So I think this is an excellent feature for those of us who are always on the go and always using our phones, traveling. It's just a way to be safe and to also obey the law. So I think this is really, really cool to have. So one of the things that I would highly recommend. So, you know, all the things, family, apps, things like that. I don't know what else this entails. So it's just like being on your phone for the most part. Pretty much. One of the things that I am going to purchase for this car that I have not gotten yet, I'm going to turn on the AC because it's getting a lot. One of the things that I'm going to purchase for my car that I have yet to purchase is a screen protector. Just because this is going to be my forever car, so I want to take care of it. So I'm going to buy a screen protector to protect the screen and not like get it too dirty. I know I've been touching on it, but I've just got it, so I haven't purchased a screen saver or screen protector yet. But you can purchase one through Amazon and even through the Ford uh, app as well. And with Ford Pass, you get a, a discount, you get points, so why not use the free app that is provided to you? Other things for you guys to see in my car, uh, you have the glove compartment, pretty decent space in here. I also have a, uh, what do you call this, sunroof that Drew picks on me for because I did not fully know how to operate. There we go. <laughs> so there's my sunroof and then of course you can open it. See that one worked with no problem. I guess I wasn't pressing hard enough on the other one. So it is more tinted with the sunroof I will say so I usually keep that on and then you also have up here you have a sunglass holder or something else that I was missing in my car sorely missed because y'all know I'm a sunglass girl so sorely missed having that I'm just gonna close my thing for you so it has a sunglass holder over here you have your sun visors up here you also have garage buttons, so I can program these to match my garage, Drew's garage, and be good. And then we have, this isn't uh, upholstery either, this feels like leather, so you know, for those of us who wear makeup, you can wipe that down. And then you have your mirror, of course. And you know, all the things. One of the things that I wanna show you with the Ford app is some of the features. So of course you have to do this little safety check here but once you click that you're being safe and you're not driving you have all these cool features so on the home page you have your car so this is exactly my car you can use the app to unlock your car no matter where you are so yes you have the key fob you have um, that remote to be able to crank up your car unlock your car lock your car but if you're far away you can use your phone to do the same thing and it's not a radio signal it is you doing it through the app so if you hold down to this button
hold on to this button you can unlock your car if you hold on to this button you can crank your car and then do the same for locking your car you can also go to like your dealership get information about your vehicle little important things like that so how many miles to empty your oil change it tells you so many things about your car I would highly recommend using this if you own a Ford all that good stuff so I would highly recommend using the app once you got it so that pretty much concludes my car tour I hope that you guys enjoyed it I hope that you found the information helpful for those of you who are considering a car like this I have no complaints so far so I hope that my videos are helpful and it, it gives you an idea of what you would want in a car what you want in a Ford Bronco it wasn't my first choice but I'm so happy that I chose it this is my forever car I will keep this until the wheels fall off and I'm just excited to have it so I hope that this video was helpful for you guys if you have any questions put them in the comments below I don't know everything about this car because I just got it but from me doing my research, I can answer some general questions that you may have relating to the car. So let me know. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.